with a 22 pin lead the somewhat underdog uh, as we thought earlier uh, obviously proving that to be false Olivia Sanum can extend her lead to 32 oh. she turned it early and look at that ball hole pocket she is she is as they say totally matched up right now she's got the right speed she's got the right line and she's got the right ball and for your former partner I know you've bowled quite a bit with Wendy McPherson in the in the mixed tournaments uh, what does she got to do here Marshall well she just got to let herself you know, do what, what she does naturally and just allow the ball to get off her hand and not force things. That looks much better. There we go. Wendy and I bowl together in the merit doubles. Back it had to be in the late 80s. Back when she was just a kid and I wasn't very old either. Look at the way <laughs> she gets the ball well out on the lane, allows it to slide down the lane before it picks up the roll and that was picture perfect. All right, well, I'll keep looking good on the right-hand lane. She's got to make something happen on this left lane. 18 and a half mile per hour speed, so she's got the ball rolling down there at a pretty good clip. Right now, Nation working on a strike, coming up the sixth frame, can make a 25-pin lead over one of the great players of all time, McPherson. She's got a hold. She'll take the four and the seven. That ball was coming in high, could have easily left a little bit of help over on the right-hand side. She's glad that fell down. Her tournament leader, a great athlete, was a terrific softball player in college. Needs to get some strikes. Really trusted that one. Wow. And she stayed with the same ball. She just She's changed her line a little bit and maybe amped up that speed just a touch. She's got a good competitive look in her, in her eyes. And boy, was that a terrific shot. Well, she's an athlete. You know, she was a, a great, great college softball player and uh, she was talking about how after a number of years of playing softball her shoulder right shoulder was starting to give her a little trouble and she's concentrated her efforts now on bowling and has become uh, very very good okay let's see how Olivia Sandum reacts to the fast double by Shannon O'Keefe there's a big change in this match coming what was a very big lead for Sandum. It's now going to be less than, it'll be less than 10 pins. Um, it's not impossible to make the two-way 10, but it's very close. She should go, should go for just the two pins with a double working up. Now, Stephanie Nation, 15 pin lead, needs to get a strike working. Good roll down the lane, and that was just a beautiful smash seven. That's, you know, sometimes you make the best shot you can make, Bo, and it just it's nine pins. That was a great shot. She needs to just come back and make her spare. You know, just a bad break. Just get two of them, Olivia. And that's what she's trying for. Very smart. Actually, mathematically playing the game. When you have a double up, as all of us know, but especially in a one-game match, get the wood because every time you miss one, it counts two in the scoreboard. Nation making a spare, now up by 14 pins. Okay. She was sure that ball was going to strike. Marshall, in our in our Olivia Sandum uh, Shannon O'Keefe match, who has the edge now? After the opening, uh, there's just three frames left. It's getting down to crunch time. Are you going with the leader, who is leading well, now by seven, or the tournament leader, O'Keefe? I started out with O'Keefe. I'm going to stick with her. She has the momentum going for herself right now. Up and hit. Yes. Okay. Olivia has something to say about that. That's she for sure. sure does. And if you're your former partner, Wendy McPherson, this is a critical shot in the match. A chance to get within four pins with a strike here on lane 26. Look on this lane in the very first frame of the game, and then nothing to show for it in the last couple of attempts. Got a slide. Oh, solid 10. Everything right except for the result. <laughs> good ball speed, good everything. Now, right now, our tournament leader, Shannon O'Keefe, can take the lead in this match for the first time if she strikes here in the eighth. Got a slide. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a fortunate shot. She really, she's got to be careful about coming in high. 
because she's been she's been way high flush in this lane. This ball picks up a roll early. It looks like it's going to be a 4-7-10, and somebody's looking out for that little girl. I'll tell you. Wow. <laughs> well, what a great reaction. Don't say there's not reciprocity in this game, Marshall. Everybody except Shannon probably forgot that solid seven she left on that lane. They that's, owed her one. That's, that's right. Wendy was made the 10-pin easily, so she stays in a very tight match. Now Keith can stretch the lead to 13. This is the lane she's had trouble with. Needs to keep the speed up on the ball much better. Wow, she's an aggressive player. You know what I like about O'Keefe is that she just got a very, very fortunate break, and instead of coming back on, oh gosh, I was lucky, I'm sorry, it was like, all right. The mark of a winner, Parts. You bet. Wendy McPherson up in the eighth frame, trails by 14. This match is up for grabs, as the other one. Boy, so easily could have been three in a row for McPherson. Last three shots have been just as good as she can throw them. And right now for Olivia Sandum, she finds herself 13 pins down, but the, this match is certainly far from being over. She has a possible 244, O'Keefe with a possible 247. She needs a strike right now. Came in light last time on this lane. It's beautiful shot from Sandum. Boy, that was a blueprint strike, Marshall. That was just dead solid off her hand. Very confident. Almost like uh, that didn't mean anything. Boy, what great confidence. Well, I think I think she may be thinking that uh, she was given a bad bead when, <laughs> when O'Keefe had that high strike. <clears throat>